What is time? It rules our lives, but what is it really? At its core, time is how we measure change. When the sun rises, when seasons shift, or when you grow older, time is what makes before different from after. But who first tried to measure it? Around 3500 BCE, the ancient Sumerians used shadow clock simple sticks in the ground to track the sun's movement. Later, Egyptians invented sundials, and the Babylonians gave us the 60-minute hour, based on their love of the number 60. By the 1400s, we had mechanical clocks with gears and weights. Then came pendulum clocks, and finally, the modern atomic clock, which measures time based on the vibration of cesium atoms accurate to a billionth of a second. But here's the mind-bending part. Einstein's theory of relativity showed that time isn't constant. It's flexible. Move fast or be near massive gravity and time actually slows down for you. That's called time dilation, and it's real. Astronauts on the ISS age a tiny bit slower than we do on Earth. Not science fiction, actual physics. So, what do we measure time against? In modern science, we use seconds defined by atomic vibrations. A second is 9,192,631,770 oscillations of a cesium-133 atom. But philosophically, time is still mysterious. Some physicists argue time may not even exist fundamentally. It could be an illusion created by our brains to make sense of change. So, next time you check the clock, remember, you're not just reading numbers. You're witnessing a concept humanity has chased for thousands of years yet still doesn't fully understand. Follow for more surprising answers to curious questions. Drop your own questions in the comments.